Good day, YouTubers, and welcome to the vlog. Domic Nation, as it were. Uh, right now, I'm just going to be doing some... Uh, I've caught up on a whole bunch of other videos. Uh, I'm also preparing to go to Chicago and getting everything ready, trying to find accommodations. Uh, so I'm going to shoot a, uh, a bunch of gaming videos today. And uh, it's very difficult to put them up every day. It is, especially when the program doesn't work properly. Uh, so, of course, I'm going to show you the new cat's name, or the new cat, and Megan. So yesterday, there he is. Oh, it's a baby. He's getting along slowly with the other animals. Uh, he's cool with the other animals, but they're not cool with him being in their house and all. Uh, Sunny's the worst. She just looks like, <laughs> Sorry, that was me. Um, so we're deciding on whether we're gonna keep the name Marco. And this is the whole story. Because I have to apologize because we've changed his name again. Uh, so the rescue place named him Marco just to give him a name. And so when we brought him home, Megan went through all these names and Carol and I were trying to agree or disagree on them. And when Prince came up, I said, that sounds good. He's like a prince. And, uh, and then last yesterday, when Megan was home all day with him, that's why I didn't do a vlog. Uh, sorry about that. I apologize. It was just a really weird day. And I just couldn't, couldn't pick up the camera. I don't know why. Anyway, so at one point, he was like running around. He like darts, 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 darts. And then he came up to my chair and I kind of like, like looked around. He wasn't there. He wasn't there. He wasn't there. I'm like, he's like a ninja. And she's like, that's what I wanted to name him. And I said, really? Because I said, that's what we should name him, Ninja. And uh, the Black Ninja. And she says, that's what one of the names was. Sorry, my arm keeps falling asleep. It's going to be up all night now. Uh, so his name's Ninja. Uh, we can call him uh, Ninja Marco... Prince, Prince Ninja Marco, Prince Marco Ninja. Uh, so he's got three names, so you guys can call him whatever you want to call him. Uh, but his name now is officially Ninja. Just to mess you guys up even more. Then you guys start fighting in the comments. No, his name is Marco. No, it's not. It's Prince. No, it's not. It's Ninja. Sorry about that. Uh, I tried to smooth some of the waters that were happening, but let's do some close ups. Oh boy. This is a room you guys have never seen. <laughs> it's a mess. This is what Megan used to stay in all the time. Uh, her bed was there, uh, but she's almost completely moved out. I've moved my office, extra office stuff in here at the moment. So here's Ninja's room. He gets his own room. Say hi. Say hello. Say hello, YouTubers. You're basically M3. Here's another name for you. Monkey3. Oh boy. Monkey three! Monkey three! Oh, and there's Sunny. So she's wondering why am I paying attention to that disgusting creature in the other room. Right, Sunny? Yes. Yes, she has the biggest attitude problem. Sam is very cool with a kitty. Aren't you, Sam? You're cool. Oh, you're cool with Ninja. Yeah. You see, Sam likes to place a food in the middle of where the cats walk and he challenges them to walk past it and then he chases them. It's not very nice, not very nice, not a, tr not a nice trick, Sam. It's not a nice trick. Do you know what's a nice trick? Tricks. And there's Lulu. We have some good news about Lulu. He went up the ladder by himself yesterday for the very first time because we're looking for the cats, so uh, Megan and I, you know, trying to slowly introduce Ninja to the other cats, and uh, all of a sudden the other cats were missing. They were gone. We really couldn't figure out where they were, so I'm like, maybe they're upstairs. And so Car Megan went upstairs, and she's like, oh my goodness, Louie's upstairs. So he knows how to get upstairs by himself, but he still can't get down. Still have to put him in the bag and, and bring him down. 
Uh, so it was a very interesting day yesterday, acclimatizing uh, Ninja to the family. The first night, he uh, woke up at like four and was just meowing. And because that room used to be um, a porch before we bought the house, uh, and well, we bought the house in the shape that the house is in, kind of. And this, but this before, when this house was originally built, that was, this was a porch. This was the exterior of the house. This was the door. And the guy who had the house before us made this into a sunroom, like a three seasonal room. There were two windows there, but when Megan decided to turn this into a bedroom, uh, I blocked them off and insulated them and put one window in because it was the most inexpensive thing to do at the time. And um, I don't know where I was going with that. Oh boy. Um, wow, brain dead. Uh oh, ooh, almost had a situation. And that's a noise Louis makes. Oh, he's just trying to get through the house without getting attacked. Everybody's a ninja in this house. Louie makes certain noises. He makes a funny noise when he sees a bird outside. This is his spot. He loves the spot at the moment since that the, the summer is here. I guess the wood is cool on him. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. I can't remember what I was going to say. And <laughs> now I remember. Welcome back. Uh, so this window is the window to the exterior of the house way back when, but now it's just a window from our bedroom into this room. So when he was in here, he was meowing at four o'clock in the morning. So Carol came out and sat with him for a minute, came went back to bed and he was meowing again at 5.30. I got up, came in here, lay down on the ground. So that's why the cushions are missing in the other room. Yay, my brain's working again, click. Uh, so we put the cushions down here just in case he needed us to be in here again. When you adopt a pet, uh, it came with all these kind of instructions on the best way to introduce a pet into a house where there are other pets. And, and it basically, when you bring the pet home, you're supposed to put it in an isolated room and just leave it alone. We have food, water, washroom facilities, and uh, then they acclimatize themselves to that room. They get comfortable. Then you just slowly introduce members of the family, and then eventually you can let them run free through the house. So last night was the first time we I left the wind the door open because he's kind of taking that area for himself at the moment, and uh, the other cats have the rest of the house, which is the way they like it. And uh, he's just a very very pretty cat. As you can see, right? Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Ninja. You can see that he's a ninja. Look at that long, slender body. Ninja. Oh, he sees my, my shadow on the thing. He's like, what's that? All right, so it's 8.30 in the morning and I have to make this vlog short. I just wanted to show you Ninja, do the whole name correction thing, show Louie, Sonny. Oh my goodness, I forgot the newest thing. You guys are gonna flip, you guys are gonna lose it. Um, so we have, uh, Louie was first, no sorry, the fish were first. So let me show you the fish. There's our fish, there's our Luberderm. So there's our fish. I just Friday's a feeding day, so I just fed them today. So they've been in the house the longest. So we had the fish, then we got Louie, then we got Sunny, Louie, Sunny, then Sam, then Ninja, and the latest member to the family because Paul's kid didn't want it anymore, and Ben wanted it really badly was a ball python. <laughs> so we are full at the moment. This house has no vacancies whatsoever. So we have a ball python in there somewhere. And uh, we're just letting him acclimatize again to this 
new surroundings. Not that a snake really cares, but uh, yeah. How about that, people? Crazy, I know. Well, I got this, I, I thought I was getting the cat. <laughs> Letting you guys into our family situation. Uh, I was under the impression that where I, was, I was getting that cat for Megan. It was going to be Megan's cat. But uh, as of last night, I was corrected. And that's why Paul offered the snake to us uh, a while back. And uh, I, I asked Ben if he wanted it. And he's like, yeah, I love the snake. And of course, Carol and Megan didn't want the snake in the house. They didn't like the whole idea of what we'd have to feed it. Uh, they didn't want to be a, around when that kind of stuff was going on. Uh, fortunately, this uh, snake is uh, has been trained to eat dead rats. So you actually go to the pet store or the fish store or whatever, and, and you can buy frozen dead rats. And uh, so that's what this snake eats. Uh, so I, as soon as when I got this, the cat for Megan, I thought again it was for Megan. So I felt bad that I went and got this pet for Megan and Ben didn't have his own pet and since we had this free offer because that's like a, that's a $500 package right there like the snakes like two to three hundred dollars the aquarium and all the stuff has got to be another couple hundred bucks so uh, it's at least four hundred dollars or five hundred dollar thing so uh, I, w I we couldn't afford to go and just buy that for him and, and Paul was like if you want it it's yours so uh, I talked to Carol and Megan into it and uh, they were they were totally cool with it so now we're we're full no more vacancies so I'm going to cut this vi uh, vlog short. I just wanted to show you the, the new two additions to the fam the Domic Nation. Uh, eventually I will do some vlogging with the snake on my neck. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you want to see that, baby. All right. Uh, like I said, it's like just around 20 to 9. I have to get this vlog out so you guys can have something to watch. Uh, I'll probably vlog throughout the day. Uh, we're doing another recital tonight, so uh, I won't be able to, to put the vlog up uh, tonight. It's just, it's just crazy. I still have to put that DVD uh, labels on all those discs, and the cases and all that stuff. It's a crazy job to do. So uh, this is for just for you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up for the cats, the snakes, the elephants, the chimpanzees, and uh, we'll talk to you guys later. Have a good weekend, and I will put a vlog up tomorrow. Carol and I uh, are going uh, up to Swift, which is like a kayak place, and uh, they let you try out all the different kayaks, and uh, then we're probably going to stay at the cottage for the rest of the day and then be home tomorrow night. So tomorrow will be a late vlog. If I can put up a quick snippet vlog, I will. And uh, so thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for all your support. Uh, I'm loving the fact that this channel is exploding. Uh, it's doing really, really well, really well. And, it's, and uh, I'm glad that you guys are loving it. So like I said, thanks. Bye. And now it's time for birthday shout outs. Guess what? Nobody's birthday is today. This is the first time I think ever that there wasn't at least one person's birthday today, but I'm gonna do yesterday's birthdays for all those who have a birthday on May 28th. It was Benjamin H's birthday, Jade M, Ryan H, Neeb C, uh, Doman K, William E, um, Matt B, Jim B, Wendy Evans, and uh, 2N, I. Happy birthday, everybody. Uh, again, leave a comment in the comment section below as to what is your favorite birthday dinner. Uh, do you like it at home or do you like it at restaurants? I always love to hear what you guys uh, like for your birthday dinner. All right, guys. Have a great day. See you later.